Welcome. In this video, we will walk through the steps on how to repair your 201 or 301 series cast iron wet seal pump. The tools required for repair are shown here. Before beginning, drain the antifreeze from the reservoir as well as all other fluids from the pump body into an approved container or disposal unit. First, remove the four pump mounting bolts from the engine. Then, remove the clamp from the shaft. Once the clamp is removed, the pump may be fully removed from the engine. Next, remove the six reservoir bolts and the reservoir from the pump body. After removing the reservoir, remove the paper gasket from the cover plate. Ensure the gasket is completely cleared away. Remove the spring and seals from the shaft. Removing the shaft seals may require additional lubricant. Next, remove the cover plate. Remove the paper gasket completely from the pump body. Remove the seals from the cover plate and reservoir. Clean the new seals thoroughly and lubricate with P40 lubricant. Place the new seals into the reservoir and cover plate. Place a new paper gasket on the pump body. Replace the impeller and set the gap to 30 thousandths of an inch. Replace the cover plate. Next, place a new paper gasket on the cover plate. Lubricate the shaft and replace the spring and seals. Wipe away any excess lubricant. Replace the reservoir and tighten the bolts completely until the lock washers are flat. Next, replace the clamp, making sure the clamp key is facing the pump body. Do not tighten completely. Remount the pump to the engine, making sure to line up the clamp key with the keyway on the shaft. Tighten the pump mounting bolts completely until the lock washers are flat. Next, using a torque wrench, tighten the clamp to 40 foot-pounds. Ensure the shaft spins freely by completing a test pull of the starter rope. Finally, refill the reservoir with antifreeze, making sure to fill above the spring. Your pump is now ready to be put back into service. For more information, please visit banjocorp.com.